the um the law of God or following God, like all these people in the world, you hear them say, Jesus take the will, Jesus take the will. It's not Jesus, it's the law of God. And I found out, like since I stopped playing with the law of God and started actually doing it, um, it'll it'll really pull pull people out your life you thought was cool people, like people that don't rob, steal, all of that shit, like It'll show you who they are, how selfish they are, like anybody. Because they won't give up stuff. And, and it's cool if they don't know God and don't pretend like don't go to church and shit, stuff like that. But God will pull the evil out. Like it's, it's stuff, say like don't eat shrimp, right? Don't eat crab meat. Don't eat pork. Well, shellfish, pork, catfish, stuff like that, which is not a big thing, right? That's I gave it up like that. When I read it in the book, I gave it up because that's a part of following God. But you got people that'll lie. You know what I'm saying? A lie their way out of it. People like your grandmother, somebody that's, that you won't consider evil, but she evil in God's eyes. That's what it is. Anybody that's disobedient to God is that's evilness. It ain't a horn coming out your head. You ain't spitting up green shit. When you disobedient to God, that's evilness. That's refusing God. And the laws are in effect. And the crazy shit to me is like, where did they get that is no more law? Like, what the fuck are y'all? Like, y'all live in a real society. The, what we live on now is a law that God had. Because he said it exists. Y'all understand that? We live on this plain earth. He created that. And because he said it existed, that's law. Like the sun and the moon, that's law. It's a law of God. So if it's those are still God. here then the law still exists. And you're not going to be able to explain your way out of it, especially if it's not thus saith the Lord. Like it's, Jesus, Paul, it's not going to get that off you because they were men too. They had sinned, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, and had to answer to God themselves. So it's like everybody has to answer to God. You, you're not going to answer to Paul, Jesus, or any of these men. And you're going you to answer, and you answer in your life every day. Christians be waiting for this heaven and hell shit later on. They read the book. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? It says, as above, so below. What's up there? That's what y'all consider heaven, right? If you don't do the recipe that, that the person in the being in heaven gave you, the opposite of heaven is what? Hell. Where is that going to be? On earth? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth. As it is where? He, he don't say the Christ will be done. No. It's talking about God. And Thy he didn't will give you done. the rules of Christ. He didn't give you the ten Christ rules. He gave you the commandments of God. Why don't y'all just stop playing? Yeah, the, why don't y'all choose? Why don't y'all make a choice here? Choose Jesus or God, because that's honestly what y'all well, doing. God or whatever. If you don't choose God, whatever else you're choosing is an abomination. A Jesus, like the prop. Y'all, y'all read this book. The scriptures and you really think it's a Jesus involved. Y'all can't see that was added on later. It's not even the same language. And y'all call yourselves intelligent. This is one of the reasons why we stay here. Now I get it. Everybody don't have to know it. They didn't know it, but you hearing something right now. Yeah, the thing with y'all is y'all act like y'all have to be Christians. Like it's like you're bonded to being a Christian. Like that's your na your nationality or whatever. Yeah. Like that's what y'all act like. It's a whole book full about. I don't know how many prophets, men that did work for God, but none of them was the way to God. Then we get a New Testament, and and he the way to God. All those men, every prophet, excuse me, prophet that ever existed had to speak the words of God. Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18 to 18. And it was people that he would raise up from your own. People like my dumb ass. I ain't on high, a regular old mother effer. That's, that's from you, that he gonna raise up. And when he say put his words in their mouth, his words are the commandments. So that's what I'm saying. That's it. No more, no less. You can like it or not. You ain't going to change it. You lying to God and you lying to everybody else. You keep saying there's no rules, there's no rules, there's no rules. Suppose somebody killed the shit out of one of your kids and then say the law is done away with. That's Oh, that's what's happening to y'all out in the public. Mm -hmm. We getting killed and shit because we don't have any law. Oh, it's a man over top of us. This white man doing the dirt to us. I wonder why that is. Have you even tried to do anything about it? Keeping God's laws will square that away in a minute because we wouldn't be running around here looking like assholes when everybody's saying, look at these people. Yeah, look, they fucking animals. Look at the Jews. The Khazars. Y'all know who that are? The, the fake us.
the Jews, that's a real name because they gave it, but Yahudi, the Yahudim, no God in these people, but they keep the laws in that book as, as a, what, as what, like law, rules, not, not even for God, spirituality, just classroom rules, like you can't do this, you can't do that, they keep it, I live in a Jewish community, there ain't no crime here, nope. none, you don't hear about any robbery, none, because Nobody getting shot. they obedient to what the words say. Some of them don't even believe in God. They be up against a wall, kick-stepping and shit. You know, Israel is the gay capital of the world. Bigger gay parades there than in Atlanta and San Francisco. You know what I mean? These those people. But when they keep the laws of God, their society, it look like a godly society. They understand charity. Out here, they got their own Jewish welfare, their own Jewish school system, patrol cars that patrol the neighborhood. That don't have nothing to do with money, nigga. That got shit to do with community because God have us hooked in a way that money don't even matter. We were supposed to take care of this ourselves. He gave us a Levitical priesthood, and he gave us a, a king, a royal line. That's what he gave to make sure things was right. And the royal line, he didn't even want to give us. Like It's like government. They begged for a king. God was like, I'm y'all king, but I'm going to give y'all the king anyway, just so, so y'all know what it is. And now our kingdom is this government. You pay tributes all kinds of ways just because you don't keep the laws of God. You know, y'all know about my walk, about the law, the, the cars, the cops, all that shit. The law of God remove me from it or make me exempt from the laws of man. Now, y'all getting this confused, right? The laws of God say what? Don't kill, don't steal. The laws of God are 10 times better than the laws of man. The laws of God don't involve, involve a policy. The laws of God don't say if I stand in one spot too long, I get a ticket. The laws of God don't say if I move too fast on my camel, horse, cart, whatever, I don't get a ticket. It is not built on revenue or capital because God didn't build this place Revenue or capital in mind. Now? He gave us everything we needed for our day to day, and some dumbass people decide, okay, let's put something in the fold, yeah. a, another entity. Let's let's make them have to chase this thing in order to get this water or this this house, this shelter that we have that they should have already that God granted everybody to have. Cause there's so much of it out here that you can see He wanted everybody to have it. It's the whole material thing. He gave He gave my fuckers value off of stuff that God already gave us. I mean, what other man in the whole damn world will charge you to go in a canyon that God created? A Grand Canyon yeah. that who who dug that out? And you then, understand? And then he'll sell these seeds of discontent in other countries too with his policy bidding other people to keep these policies as well. Now, look at these other countries. You'll see an emit like a, a huge on a high scale, like the poverty and the rich, like the difference between them it's yeah, crazy. It's, it's only rich they keep poor. the money in one spot, and yep. you can see it happen with these these dictatorships. That's what you have in these other countries. And they they greedy dictators that don't mind the policies of America because they break the backs of their people over there. Because they get all the benefits that America is giving, and their people ain't really getting shit. We got a middle class, but it's fat, it's it's going away because just what's happening now is it's these policies and all the countries that stand up to the United States bullshit. They call them what? Terrorist yeah. countries? North Korea. Anybody that don't want a part of this policy, they start doing the same shit to them that they do to us, demonizing them or saying he this, that, and the third. And y'all know what America is. You see this white president, this Donald Trump, I don't get my way. He shut down everything. That's who they are. Yeah, these, these are the same people that, okay, the Pearl Harbor event, the Japanese bombed the military base, right? War. These people, they went and bombed civilians, a city, a civilian city, you know what I mean? And always talking about the troops, the troops, the troops, the troops. Y'all killing civilians, babies. Y'all baby killers. And and when they bombed the, the World Trade Building, y'all mouths was all stuck out. This is the first time some shit like that went down and they attacked a civilian place. Y'all feeling what all the other countries warfare. felt. That, that's what's happening, y'all. Yeah. It's, called, it's called God. Yeah. Chickens coming home to hatch. That was a beautiful act of warfare. That wasn't terrorism. Their army not big enough to do business with the big ass bad United States of America. Just like us, yep. when we fighting for our rights, they could wash you out. But they made it hurt, you know. And they demonized Muslims. Now y'all, now they worried about them at every turn. They worry about oh, is the Muslims gonna do they this to us? They scared because yep. you understand, like, and when they understand that. That's when they back off. They ain't gonna fuck with no Muslim nations. 
because the Muslims are taken to their ass unto death. And that's what they don't want you to do. And here's the difference why you have Christianity. Because it's fake. Those Muslims, however twisted it might be at one point through some of them, because Islam isn't bad all the way through. It's just like you Christian. You got bad people that believe in God over there and good people. But they willing to ride that shit out to death. And that's the thing that give you power. See, these people want policy. When you start talking about, I'm going into my death behind this, they change. And the only thing that make you ready to go to the next level with, with your life is what? What gives you the conviction to say, I'm going to take it all away? Is it money? It's about God, maybe family, my kids, you're going to have to kill me for. It. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff. Like, but this God thing. If you're not ready to go all it's the way, it's life for it, itself, the most precious planning. thing that yeah. he granted. Because that's that's what they're trying to take away: life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Without rights, how you have a life? Like, what what is your life consist of? It's slavery. It's like your constitution is based off of God. We keep proving that. You know what I'm saying? We see 97 Public Law 97 280 states that God God's word, the Bible is God's word. That that counts constitutionally, and they tell you separation of church and state. This, the whole thing was built off the scriptures. Then you go to church, I mean, go to court and swear on the Bible. You know why they separated church and state? Because there's real power in the word of God. They can't enslave you by the word of God because I should pull it out. But this is, this is, this is the law of the land. God is the sovereign. Anything that, that goes against what God is, is against the Constitution. It's in your conscience to disobey that. And this is a law. 1772, I believe it was Rogers versus Marshall. This is a law. So anything that's not of God is not constitutional. So how can some man own you or your right? You under, this is how the scriptures work. It's freedom in that. That's why I'm attached to God. That's why I travel with no license. That's why I don't pay parking tickets, speeding tickets. I don't adhere to a drug policy. I'm not a policy. I'm a free person. And I established that. And the only way I got to get to that was through God. You ain't going to get through that nowhere else. Kimmy ain't going to help you with that. Islam ain't going to help you with that. Because the Bible is the law of the land. Signed by Ronald Reagan in 1982. But blacks don't listen to nothing. You're too busy running around here checking Jesus. You don't get no rights based on Jesus. You get rights based off of what God said. Don't kill. Don't steal. Don't smash your sister. Don't have sex with your mother. Charity, all of that's in the Bible. You niggas will fuck your cat if it wasn't in the Bible. Y'all trifling. You some trifling ass niggas cutting off dicks, being women of the year, adding booties, adding titties. And that's normal. Y'all don't see that as God made me his way. And it's not evil people that's doing it, right? You amalgamating your body. That's defiling your fucking temple. Talking about smoking weed. What weed do to my temple? Enhance it. Enlighten me, cure me. And some of you niggas always talking about weed. You eat shrimp, dog. You eat shellfish. It's in the scriptures. Leviticus 11. Oh, wait, wait, wait. God, God too much. He overbearing. What, what's their book say? That fake ass New Testament. First John, what is it? Five and what? Fear to look. Well, um, five and three. The commandments for the love of God. This is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And they are not grievous. That's in y'all book. And you still don't do it, but you do everything else. You running after money. Y'all putting in collection plate just to say you did that shit. He ain't even require that shit. It's about food. Malachi 3. Read Malachi 3. You ripping them off, not putting store food in his storeroom. That's why he cursed the lands. You wanted to curse. Food wouldn't grow. Your cattle couldn't grow. And they still was ripping them off. Y'all read the book? That's the last... That's the last chapter of the Bible, Malachi. After that, it's over. That New Testament, it don't say to be continued in Malachi. What's it for? And it's the part where they just get rebellious. And say, Whoa, you ain't even going to check it out because you're scared I'm right. 